Hey guys, welcome back to OneHydraulics.com. Today we're going to be talking about pipe and tube clamps, why we use them, how to spec them, and where to find them at OneHydraulics.com. Now why would you use a clamp like this? Aside from easy installation and just keeping things in place, these clamps are also used to reduce noise and vibration. They're usually comprised of a cover plate, two plastic inserts, what's typically called the weld plate, and two bolts. Now this is a single weld plate clamp, our most commonly sold clamp. The single weld plate clamp is designed just for that, to weld directly to a structure. This is our elongated series clamp, and it's called elongated because you'll notice our weld plate is elongated on either side of the clamp. Calling it a weld plate may be a bit of a misnomer as these holes are typically used to secure the clamp to the structure with bolts. Now, one thing that we've seen people try to do is get rid of this elongated weld plate and just use longer bolts instead. But we recommend against this because this weld plate is actually designed to take the side load off of those bolts, which prevents shearing. So for safety reasons, we always recommend that you actually use the elongated weld plate that comes with this set. This is our DIN rail mount clamp, also called a channel rail clamp, for C-type DIN rail. You'll notice on the bottom there isn't a weld plate, but instead there's two rail nuts. With DIN rail clamps, rail nuts are used to secure the clamp instead of a weld plate. These are really convenient because they don't have to be welded individually. You can just assemble all of your clamps, slide them on the rail, and then tighten them down to keep them in place. This is called our ACT clamp, or anti-corrosion technology clamp. Marine customers were having issues with crevice corrosion happening underneath the pipe clamps, with salt water trapped in between the clamp and the tubing wall. So Stoff developed the ACT clamp as an answer to that problem. ACT clamp bodies are made of flame retardant PPVO plastic. These elastomer strips are designed to prevent the accumulation of seawater between the clamp body and the tube wall. These drainage channels here are what help the water to disperse as well. These are ideal in offshore applications and they've been qualified in a third-party lab for use in salt spray environments. These clamps are available in sizes quarter inch to one and a half inch and they are the only solution on the market today that is compliant with the Norsoc Z010 standard. This unique clamp is called our twin series clamp and it actually enables you to mount two tubes or pipes together side by side without having to use two clamps. They're only available in standard series, not heavy series, with sizes ranging from a quarter inch to about an inch and a half. The single weld plate clamp is available in both standard and heavy series. Now what's the difference? A standard clamp is available in sizes ranging from a quarter inch to four inches. The heavier series clamp is quite a bit bulkier. It has a significantly thicker weld plate, cover plate, bolts, and a heavier plastic insert. The Heavy Series is also offered in larger sizes. It starts at a quarter inch and goes all the way up to 16 inches. So when would you use a Heavy Series clamp instead of a Standard Series clamp? Well, general rule of thumb is that for systems under 3000 PSI, you can go with a Standard Series clamp. And for systems over 3000 PSI, you can go with a Heavy Series clamp. Now, if you have a high impact, high shock application, the heavy series clamp might be the answer, no matter how low your pressure is. One question we get asked all the time, are pipe clamps and tube clamps the same thing? Why are they listed separately on your website? Well, to answer your question, while pipe clamps and tube clamps may look the same, the way we measure for them is different. It's all about the borehole in your clamp. Pipe is measured and called out based on the ID or inner diameter meaning a standard quarter inch pipe has a quarter inch inner diameter, but over half an inch outer diameter. If you ordered a quarter inch bore clamp for pipe, it would be too small. A tube, on the other hand, is measured and called out based on the OD, meaning a quarter inch tube has a quarter inch OD. So a quarter inch bore clamp will fit a quarter inch tube, but not a quarter inch pipe. Once you've determined if you're shopping for pipe clamps or tube clamps, you'll want to pick your insert texture. If you see this clamp here, you'll notice that the interior of this clamp is ribbed or profiled with tension clearance. Tension clearance is the amount of distance between the clamp halves, and that's what provides the tension to hold the clamp in place. This style is ideal for firmly gripping tube or pipe. 
The smooth interior looks like this clamp right here and is ideal for hose or conduit where you want to hold something in place but you don't necessarily need for it to be held under tension. The clamp inserts are available most commonly in stock green polypropylene, but we do offer black as well. We also have extensive alternate material options available offline if you have a special application. Now, if you have a special application and you need a clamp made, we can certainly help with that. If you're having issues with the current clamps that you're using, please give us a phone call or email us and we'd be happy to help you find a solution. Thanks so much for tuning into our channel. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please click the little red button below to subscribe. If you'd like to leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what videos you want us to make in the future. Until next time, thanks for watching and check us out at onehydraulics.com.